Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. This is a RAM EDM. RAM EDM is basically used for blind cavities. For instance, I have here a hex shape, but notice it doesn't go through. And this is a hex electrode. And so it rams the part, this shape, into this piece of metal. It's also called plunge EDM. It plunges this shape. It's also called sinker EDM. It sinks a shape into the part. So these are the common names. It's also called conventional EDM and also die sinker. And what we have here in the machine, we have a hex electrode. This hex electrode that you see in the machine now is surrounded by oil. Now the oil is a dielectric fluid and acts as a resistor. This does not conduct electricity, this oil. So when the sparks leave from the electrode to the workpiece, the sparks will jump and it will erode the material from the workpiece and just a little bit depends on the settings they have from the electrode. And you see when that happens then, you'll see it, this oil will start becoming black. And there's a filtration system that removes the eroded particles from the oil. This hex electrode in the machine does not have a hole in it. So this will give us a flat bottom. Now generally when we're gonna make a hex, as you can see over here, we made this hex, this is a bolt, two big large bolts. Usually you drill a hole inside because you don't have to EDM this part. We charge RAM EDM according to the cubic inches of material that has to be removed. So if you can drill a hole and remove the excess material, this helps to reduce the cost for RAM EDM. And so then this hex was plunged into this hex bolt. I like to explain the reason why on some electrodes we put a hole in it, like this hex electrode. And the reason is the dielectric oil goes through the center of this electrode and helps to remove the eroded particles. So when you could put a hole in it, it's a more efficient operation. Now we didn't put a hole in this electrode because we want a flat finish. If we had a hole in there and we reached the bottom, then we'd have a little tip that will stand up. What we have here is just a simple hex. This is basically to show you how RAM EDM works. Now in another video, we're gonna show capabilities. For instance, we have shapes like this and like this that can be done and a lot others. And also we're gonna be demonstrating in another video the actual procedures how RAM EDM removes the material. What we have over here is part of our air filtration system to remove the fumes. Now for this video, I had them shut it down so it wouldn't be so loud. I'm going to be pressing the start button and notice the erosion taking place. Notice the pecking. Notice the fumes surrounding. Now we just turned on the fan. Notice the fumes are being sucked up into the air filtration system. Notice you can also see the sparking taking place from the electrode to the workpiece. Now you can see the oil surrounding it getting dark. The eroded particles are being burned away. This now is a rough cut, so the entire electrode sparks are leaving the electrode to the workpiece. We've gone in around 50 thousandths, and notice, just going in that short distance, the color of the dielectric oil already, how the eroded particles has made the oil black already. And there's a filtration system that constantly cleans the oil. We're going to drain the oil now so you can see the cut that was made. All right, now we're going to start a finishing cut. The tank is being refilled with oil. Right, there's the adjustable power settings in here. It's first doing a rough and slowly will graduate into making a finer and finer finish. Now you can see there's a reduced power setting taking place. Mm -hmm. 
notice now in the final finishing operation the very small amount of fumes that are taking place. I took the part out of the Ram EDM machine and noticed a really super fine finish. And that's occurring because of the sparking. Each time it, a lower and lower spark energy was being used until you get this just super fine finish that you see in this hex. I introduced to you the Ram EDM. In the next videos, we're going to show you how Ray Medium works and also the many amazing capabilities. Now, there's a lot more information you can have, and we have it on our website. This book, it's free. It's a complete EDM handbook. My son, Steve, who's a mechanical engineer, and I wrote this book, The Complete EDM Handbook. It covers RAM EDM, small hole EDM, and also wire EDM. And this is free on our website. There's a lot more information about the EDM process that you can get from this book. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.